Well, welcome to the lessons today we have to talk about structure blocks in minecraft so structure blocks are a new block in minecraft 1.10 actually they, they were in the previous versions of minecraft but they were not actually meant to be used uh, by it it's not meant it wasn't meant to be used but actually now they might change the, the texture it looks a little more uh, user friendly now which you did before so i mean say <laughs> so uh, when we get rid of these but uh, so we're going to start with the, the, so there are four types of structure blocks i mean say to give yourself a structure block you do give at p struct uh, minecraft structure oops, structure underscore block and see this is uh you, you will give yourself a structure block it's also a tool called the structure void and let me say you can give yourself that by doing give fp minecraft structure void Oops. here we go so that's a uh, destruction void but uh uh but we're going to start out with actually w w w what uh, each and every type of structure block is so the data mode structure was <laughs> So I mean, see, I, I, you can actually change the mode in your structure block. So like, for example, I want to change uh, um, save, load, or quarter. I you say, so actually, the, the, so these are how all these will look like. So if you like set it to something different, it will look, it will look different. So uh, if I say to data, it, it's just like, it will, see, it automatically does that for you. So let me say, so data is not very useful, actually, even though it's, uh, it's the main structure, the main look for the structure block, but it's not very useful actually, uh, compared to save, load, and corner. I mean, all of these are actually useful except data. I really don't know what I could use it for, but save is for saving a structure and it started raining, so let me just fix that. <laughs> this is literally hilarious, but yeah. So a save is a, it's a, for saving your structure. So if I want to save a house or a building, uh, you can save it. It also does a point. If you have want to save a huge building, uh, you should. It, it can only save up to thirty-two blocks X, Y, and Z. And and the problem with that is that you cannot uh, save huge buildings. So you might have to divide the building in slices and then put that back together. Or it's not very, you should use something else. But load is for loading your structure. And I mean, say load was used to actually load all these fossils. In Minecraft 1.10, there are fossils. Uh, so I mean, say it's pretty useful. So load is for loading your structure. Corner. It's for, uh, it's, uh, it just actually sets your structure. I, I mean, say it's meant for actually predicting the size of your, struct uh, your structure. I mean, say, well, I, it's actually meant for really getting the size of your structure. And it's much more precise than actually, and so it is much more easier than entering the relative position of the structure size. This is X, Y, Z. And I'm not going to actually talk about it in the video because I really don't think you, can, you might want to use it, but use it because it's extremely difficult and hard to do this. And I, when I did it, I had a lot of trouble. So I heavy say this is not going to work. Uh, structure void is a uh, structure void is is actually for deleting air pockets. So she, literally, that is the, what it's used for, and it's extremely useful actually. But I mean, see, all of these have a user friendly inter interface, and it actually doesn't have any coding required um, at all. So I mean, say it makes it much more easy to actually uh, import structures. And actually saves your structure in a, a folder in your world files. So it's a, it's in a structure folder. So when you save a structure, it, it will create a structure folder, and it will save all these all your structures into that, and then you can share it with friends. Uh, I mean, or anyone else. So let's we'll start out actually by uh, by using it for cloning or something. So we have a, a beautiful beautiful house. So she right here, uh, this beautiful uh, cottage. As you see here, this is the inside of the house, but it's time to clone it. Oops, I put it in the wrong position. So, uh, so uh, I basically we're gonna use uh, the corner type and the same type to actually clone this one, which uh, in the first place. So as you see, this is how it looks like. Let's see if we can clone exactly what it looks like. 
So let me just actually keep the grass pot there to actually keep it in the original condition if I break anything on accident. Uh, so I mean, we're going to actually, uh, and so I mean, say calculates the, the uh, location from the edge. So you should actually keep trying your best to actually get perfectly before actually uh, using it. So we're going to put, yeah, there are grass pads. Wait a second, I'm going to need to get dirt. So give IP dirt. So we so we could actually <laughs> get the height of it. So to get the height, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the dirt and just actually just uh, calculate the height in, in my head. It, it's a little bit difficult because uh, so we're gonna set this as a corner block and we're gonna call this cottage, farmer's cottage, because that's where the far farmer lives, right? But the cottage. So as you see, this is going to calculate from the quarter here to. Uh, uh, here, wherever uh, this is, and she just say, uh, I will calculate the height and everything. So, we, we, we can't copy this whole village, but we can copy individual buildings. So, Farmer's Cottage, so we're going to call this Save, and we're going to name it Farmer's Cottage. And it will detect, so you can detect it. So, as you see, you can just, uh, I mean, see, it, uh, see I, you can see the lines because this will a tiny bit lower than the grass, but as you see, uh, it actually detected the whole cottage. Uh, and that's what we want, and it should detect everything else. So as we say, this is a perfect uh, cottage, so it's time to save it. So we're going to save it into our file saver. Oops, I forgot. So save. It will save it to a destructive folder. And you, and you, can, you can save that into memory by using Restum to enable it. But I don't recommend you doing that. So. <laughs> Because you want these structures actually to be in a file, and I might need to clean it, clean the structure. So, so load farmers cottage, and let me say, wait a sec, I put this in the wrong place. So, load farmers cottage. So we're gonna just put load. Each, um, do you think we want this? Uh, yes. So we're gonna do this final load. And this load perfectly. So you might want to put this on the ground for the best position. And I see this is uh, the original farmer's cottage uh, that the farmer lives in. And another thing you can do is actually use corner blocks also, like uh, in conjunction. We should like two corner blocks and then a save box separately. So you don't have to put the save block underneath the ground if you need to. So we're going to find a cottage somewhere or some other farmer's cottage. So we, we can actually move this uh, save block machine. Uh, sorry, save block, uh, you're done for. Uh, uh, we're gonna put, put a new save block and we're gonna call this Farmer's Cottage. And we're gonna actually put done and then put another save block actually right here. Uh, I mean, uh, a save block. I uh, see that's a low, uh, that's a corner block. So we're gonna put a save block, call this Farmer's Cottage, and detect the uh, box and as you see this is uh, exactly what we want and actually this is a little more better I'm coming you do this instead of just actually doing things uh, doing putting the same block in the uh, one position and I'm gonna save it and actually import it there so well uh, yeah actually you can do you do that next is entities so you can include entities sorry builder you're gonna be using this video but um, yeah he's a little bit sad <laughs> since morning but uh, I mean you see uh, we can include entities so by this poor villager, but we uh, so for first off, we're going to put a uh, we're going to use this as a corner box. So we should, uh, we're going to call it villager in a house. <laughs> Sad, but you know, but uh, he's say we're going to actually put uh, a so it actually calculates from corners. So we're going to have to put somewhere here and we should here. I mean, so you might want to get extra space all the time. But we should, um, if you need to, so we're going to put a uh, a structure box here. So, well, this is a little bit more uh, too much, I think, with you. But this is on the highest height, so we're going to put a corner and villager in a house. Done. And then we're going to put a separate save block. So uh, this is a little bit more intuitive. So we're going to call it. Wait a sec. This is. Oops. Save. Villager in a house and including entities make sure you turn that on done so we're going to also detect the stuff so 
uh, is detecting everything you should check that before so it's detecting the villager <laughs> is detecting everything I would delete this piece of dirt here so uh, thing, I mean so we're going to just uh, thing, you should check that before well, I be say yes, I think so. It detecting everything, then you can proceed to saving it. So let's see, did it actually detect everything? Uh, you, you can't import floors. I, I, they made my life a little bit more complicated by actually putting here, but you can include floors and all that stuff. If you stuff, so <laughs> this do it in the house on load. Uh, Ugh. So, building house load. Um, you can uh, also, really, this is a good time to show the rotation features. So, you can rotate 90 degrees. So, as you see, this is just rotating 90 degrees. Uh, you can rotate 180 degrees. So, the 180, if you, uh, as you see, it just rotated. But, at 270 degrees, uh, as you see, uh, this actually perfectly fits inside our. Uh, Chamber almost perfectly fit, perfectly fits, and you can. Uh, I'm gonna add this one space right here, and you can uh, load Vulture in house on. So, so actually, uh, yeah, this time it worked. So it include the floor, and obviously I see the villager, but this actually is a little bit levitating. So you should actually like dig it a bit and uh, it, it is just actually just like putting it back together so i mean you could that's a, i recommend it if you are going to include a floor so i see that's a levitating of a villager in the house so now next we are going to actually so yeah we finally got it per working with the floor you should actually if you want this to perfectly fit inside the ground you should actually dig like a few blocks underneath the ground next we will go into the structure void part of the thing so We'll come back uh, to the corner box a little bit later. It's a little messier because of stuff, but also you can just delete it and it will just remove the wireframe. So if you make a map uh, or something, you can just remove that. But next is this. So let me see if we want to put this underwater. I think the villager would not like it, but um, we well, this is a video, so we're going to actually have to. But okay, we're going to uh, put a save. Oops, I messed up. So <laughs> stop. Oh man, no. <laughs> so we're gonna put, put this in save. If a house in a village, we're gonna call that. And we're gonna just keep the, that because we, if we're going to actually um, just uh, e actually, uh, just make sure we have to put another porter block here. So we are using the old technique because I forgot about here, and I mean it's gonna stay somewhere there. Um, and then we go to uh, actually, uh, and, and I mean say it didn't detect, so it detected everything correctly. Uh, next is to actually uh, um, uh, show invisible blocks. So this is a pretty useful to tool so we're going to want to put this underwater here i created this chamber for this video it took forever but this is like a very beautiful underwater virtual chamber but we're going to go back here and ju it's just going to so when you right click on this and I, this you can just just uh, it will come red and i see it's just actually going to it's not going to show up i mean see the air pockets are for just actually to some of the space so we could ha have used air pockets and uh, fix this a little bit so we actually deleted all the air pockets in the this uh, area. Let's just actually save it. Uh, so we're gonna save the uh, the house in the village, and we're gonna actually go back uh, back into the water. It's so beautiful underneath here. Uh, we're gonna actually um, the water. Put a structure box. Uh, load a house in a village. Load. Okay, first off, flipping it, we need to flip it first off to actually make it fit. So, uh, you know, I really don't want it there. I'm gonna mirror it with There it goes, perfect. 
perfectly. Um, we're going to have to get out, and let's just actually let's see if we could load. And look, see, actually, right right now, as you can see, we're going to put sea lantern here. I just get one of these uh, sea lanterns, and there it is. Well, it looks like I did have a bit of trouble. At, uh, house and village. Well, I did have a little bit of trouble here. We're going to. But if I remove the roof, it, it does flood, but looks like it's uh, not exactly flooding inside the house. So, yeah, that wasn't successful. Well, okay, now it's flooding the house. So, it then. But it, yeah, that was actually finally working, so I fixed it a bit, I think, uh, by removing the roof uh, on top of it. But uh, as you see, uh, all the air pockets have been removed, and I mean, say, I, if you wa really want things, it's because if you really want something like this to work out correctly, uh, you might want to remove the roof of the house, right? House, then my like, water will flood in much easily. Uh, <laughs> the last feature we will talk about. Uh, for today is to actually degrade the structure vision the structure so we're going to find something that it's good that we can degrade well, let's just uh, talk about the blacksmith to hit let's put a uh, or wait a second let's find something good to degrade uh, there's nothing that I want to degrade but uh, we, but we're going to degrade this blacksmith uh, uh, so if you see so we're gonna actually put uh, a save uh, a corner block here and call this blacksmith house. So we're gonna degrade it. Sorry, blacksmith, we're gonna degrade you to your house. <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna actually uh, should we put a, a block here. Uh, Here and then we're going to call it a corner block, and then a blacksmith's house. We're going to call that corner. And then we, well, we're going to switch to the save block. So uh, the save block, save and blacksmith's house. Detect size and position. So as you see, they perfectly detected our size and position. A little bit about too much up there, but uh, it's okay. But <laughs> and save. Uh, oops. That was the one the corner box. And uh, save it. Uh, it. And then when we want to load it in, load. So and it's the blacksmith's house. We should, we want to call it. It and I mean, and there's some, something called structure integrity in seed. So for structure integrity, we will put the uh, integrity 0 0.75, and uh, so we'll, when we want to load it, so we're going. This is going to levitate, so we don't want that to happen. So instead, of that I'm going to put zero. Oh, it's not going to levitate now, and then load. Oh man, that is so. Oh man, that's ruined. So yeah, actually, uh, so let me say, let me say this is like a very ruined blacksmith's house. It's in a very bad condition. You might want to do something other, other than 0 0.75 or this will happen, this mess. But you, let's just do that one more time. That was very hilarious. The, and like lava's leaking out because the blacksmith's house has lava. So load uh, blacksmith's house. Okay, we're gonna put this zero. Structural integrity in seeds. So we're gonna put this in 0 0.95. This time we're gonna see load. Gonna load it. Yeah, this is a, a bit better condition than before. But it's still the lava is leaking out. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious actually how much of a bad it could go. But yeah, this is our lessons. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.